growing food in a time when we are experiencing a recession we've just come through the pandemic and so many people losing their jobs people may wonder what can we do in the interim while we wait for our food to grow so in today's video i'm going to be showing you a very simple process that you can use to quicken the time that you have to wait for some of your produce to be ready so for example a lot when you plant seeds it takes up to two weeks or a month depending on what you're growing for your food to germinate and then you have to wait three to six months or maybe a year depending on the climatic condition and what you're growing in order to be able to harvest so in the meantime while you wait for things like your leafy greens to grow what can you do in here what you're looking at here everything in this is regrown now for the onions you won't be able to harvest onions but you'll be able to harvest onion seeds these you're going to be able to plant for the next growing season or you can use the leaves of it in your food or the next option is the seeds can also be eaten you might not want to add a lot of the seeds because naturally it is onion but the seeds can also be eaten here we have cabbage that is being regrown and what I did when I harvested this when I regrow these these are store-bought cabbages and I've instead of instead of cutting up the entire cabbage and planting the core of the cabbage which is what I usually do I pick off all of the outer leaves and leave a small amount and then allow that to grow these ones all that was left was the core and I planted the core and from that one core as you can see I have about three suckers there plus this larger one so I can divide that into four plants so now I don't have to wait for three months for cabbages now you may notice that some of them may decide to fold some of them will bolt because cabbages are biannual crops here we have a chinese cabbage and this chinese cabbage was planted four weeks ago and similar to the first cabbage that i show you i took off all the outer leaves and leave about three or four leaves on here and they were yellow as you can see the plant has grown and the leaves are nice and green this is potato that i started from the skin so we are waiting on that in here we also have two more cabbages that we started from the core of the cabbage now let's take you down to the other bin this bed was started on the 12th of January this is now the 2nd of February what do I have in here starting on the left we have a cabbage that I took off all the outer leaves and leave a small portion and everything that was in this bed was yellow and only have a few leaves there I put a sweet potato because I want slips from it here is radish and I am not growing this for the radish I'm growing it for the leafy green so I went to the store and everything that you see in here I bought from the store so I went to the store I bought a little portion of radish and the leaves were broken and the plant looked as if it was dying and after two and a half weeks look at how healthy it is looking here we have pak choy 
and it is the same process just leaving two or three of the leaves these are more radishes same process pak choy here we bought beet at the store it had no foliage on it and as you can see the foliage is growing here we have romaine lettuces and they also are store bought and this is after two and a half weeks look at this beet i can actually harvest from this to feed my family one meal after two and a half weeks so if you have to wait a long period of time for your seeds to germinate and for your leafy greens to grow to the point where you can start harvesting why not create a bed like this where you can start harvesting after two and a half to three weeks that means that in the process of three three and a half months of waiting to harvest in leafy greens now you can harvest six to seven times before your first crops that you started from seed is ready so this is a simple method that you can use to provide for leafy greens for your family and the good thing about it is that you can have different type of nutrients for example the beets are good for iron and other nutrients each of these vegetables have their different type of nutrients that they provide and when you're harvesting you can use the cut and come again method where you take off all the outer leaves and you allow the younger leaves to continue to grow so during that time while you're waiting for your seeds to germinate and the plant to grow to maturity so you can harvest you can use just this one example to keep your family fed over that period of time now because you have to wait three weeks for before you're able to harvest enough to feed your family I would strongly recommend that you create at least two beds for this depending on the size of your bed this bed that you're looking at here it is six feet by one foot so from the six feet by one foot in three weeks I was able to feed my family vegetable at least one serving so if you have larger beds and you have one bed you can provide more for your family oh, another point that I want to make is that these are being grown indoors so that is the reason why these beds are only a foot wide because it allowed me to use up my space indoors to grow without having to take up a lot of space and as you can see it is tiered so in this section here we have seedlings these are red russian kale sorry they are red curly kale seedlings that i have started in here so i just wanted to show what you can do in a very short period of time to help to feed your family so if you enjoy this video and you would like to see more videos like these please take a moment to give me a thumbs up you can leave a comment in the section below if you have any question please feel free to ask and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and i hope you have yourself a wonderful day yemen yeah, time for growth